Aristotle was a Greek philosopher and polymath during the classical period in ancient Greece. Taught by Plato, he was the founder of the Lyceum, the Peripatetic School of Philosophy, and the Aristotelian tradition. His writings cover many subjects including physics, biology, zoology, metaphysics, logic, ethics, aesthetics, poetry, theater, music, rhetoric, psychology, linguistics, economics, politics, and government. Aristotle provided a complex synthesis of the various philosophies existing prior to him. It was above all from his teachings that the West inherited its intellectual lexicon, as well as problems and methods of inquiry. As a result, his philosophy has exerted a unique influence on almost every form of knowledge in the West and it continues to be a subject of contemporary philosophical discussion. Born 384 BC, Stagira, Chalcedian League died 322 BC, aged 61 to 62. Euboea, Macedonian Empire. Spasebpythias era ancient Greek philosophy region Western philosophies Chul. Peripatetic school Aristotelianism. Notable students Alexander the Great, Theophrastus. Main interests. Biology, zoology, psychology, physics, metaphysics, logic, ethics, rhetoric, music, poetry, economics, politics, government. Notable ideas. Aristotelian philosophy, syllogism, theory of the soul, virtue, ethics. Influences. Plato. Influenced. Virtually all subsequent Western philosophy, Islamic philosophy, Christian philosophy and pre-enlightenment science. See list of writers influenced by Aristotle. Little is known about his life. Aristotle was born in the city of Stagira in northern Greece. His father, Nicomachus, died when Aristotle was a child, and he was brought up by a guardian. At 17 or 18 years of age he joined Plato's academy in Athens and remained there until the age of 37 347 BC shortly after Plato died. Aristotle left Athens and, at the request of Philip II of Macedon, tutored Alexander the Great beginning in 343 BC he established a library in the Lyceum which helped him to produce many of his hundreds of books on papyrus scrolls. Though Aristotle wrote many elegant treatises and dialogues for publication, only around a third of his original output has survived, none of it intended for publication. Aristotle's views on physical science profoundly shaped medieval scholarship. Their influence extended from late antiquity and the early Middle Ages into the Renaissance, and were not replaced systematically until the Enlightenment and theories such as classical mechanics. Some of Aristotle's zoological observations found in his biology, such as on the hectocotyl, reproductive, arm of the octopus, were disbelieved until the 19th century. His works contain the earliest known formal study of logic, studied by medieval scholars such as Peter Abelard and John Buridan. Aristotle's influence on logic also continued well into the 19th century. He influenced Islamic thought during the Middle Ages, as well as Christian theology, especially the Neoplatonism of the early Church and the scholastic tradition of the Catholic Church. Aristotle was revered among medieval Muslim scholars as the first teacher, and among medieval Christians like Thomas Aquinas is simply, the philosopher. His ethics, though always influential, gained renewed interest with the modern advent of virtue ethics, such as in the thinking of Alastair MacIntyre and Philippa Foote. Aristotle has been depicted by major artists including Lucas Cronach the Elder, 180, Justice Van Gent, Raphael, Paolo Veronese, Juste de Ribera, Rembrandt, and Francesco Hayes over the centuries. Among the best known is Raphael's fresco The School of Athens, in the Vatican's Apostolic Palace, where the figures of Plato and Aristotle are central to the image, at the architectural vanishing point, reflecting their importance. 
Rembrandt's Aristotle with a bust of Homer, too, is a celebrated work, showing the knowing philosopher and the blind Homer from an earlier age. As the art critic Jonathan Jones writes, this painting will remain one of the greatest and most mysterious in the world, ensnaring us in its musty, glowing, pitch-black, terrible knowledge of time.